Hi everyone, this is Jopke and I am back with another art journal that I created and this one for sure is going to be for the Mission Inspiration Challenges. Um, in my previous video I also created an art journal and maybe I'm going to use that one too, but for sure this one. So uh, I started with um, cutting out some uh, pieces uh, uh, of an old box really and it's kind of almost an A5 size a little bit smaller and I want to use it in landscape so um, I started with um, adding some vintage paper as just the background it, it, it won't show in the end all that much but I wanted to have a uh, a good background. Also I wanted to protect the edges of the cardboard and so I cut out a, a slightly larger piece so I could fold the edges around the piece of cardboard. And I'm using just a simple glue stick to uh, glue it all down onto the surface and this is an a glue stick, a very cheap one I bought at Action. Um, at my new village where I live, I have again an Action store right around the corner, so I get a lot of my supplies there. So I did the same thing with the back cover, and I'm not going to show uh, much of how I created the back cover because it's almost the same as the front, uh, leaving just a few things out and nothing else. So I didn't uh, thought you want to look at the same video twice. So I just, uh, I'm just showing you here uh, the front cover. And I added a layer of gesso and that is also, again, gesso from Action and the brand is Van Blijswijk. And I added two layers of the gesso uh, with a spatula to give it a, uh, some texture as well. And now I'm painting the bottom part of the um, cardboard with black gesso. And that is uh, black gesso from Malzite. Never heard of that brand. Um, but um, what I wanted to do there was to glue down strips of the same vintage paper I used as, as the background really. And um, I was thinking that if I left some gaps, I want it to, um, uh, to be black that will, will come through. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, if I leave some uh, gaps, I didn't want the white to come through, so therefore I painted the bottom part of the uh, cover black. So now um, I tear very small strips of the same vintage paper. It's from a very old magazine. And I'm gluing that down with an art medium by Schoening. I still have that big bottle uh, that was a leader but it's almost empty now, so I can buy another one, um, probably from another brand. And here I'm sticking all those strips down. Also using some washi tape, I picked out the ones that had uh, black in them and they are put down as well. So here there are some gaps of me not talking, probably, and I'm always wondering if I should put music on or not. I did in the beginning with my videos, but I got some comments that people just went crazy over that same tune over and over again. So therefore I thought, well, to leave out the music, but that means that I have to keep on talking. <laughs> continuously, even though I have nothing to say, <laughs> really. So, um, well, if it's quiet, then you know that I don't know what to say. So here, still gluing down the strips.
Okay, now I'm cutting off the axis, of, of course. And I still like, uh, at this time, I uh, I already like the, the way it looked and how it turned out. And I'm taking some more gesso and using a palette knife to add some more texture to tone down the stripes a bit. And then using an archival ink, and this is the coffee to go around the edges for um, the vintage look, really. And these are practically the colors I'm using, not much else, nothing else, I think. It's just black and white and the vintage touch of the of the ink, the archival ink. And that's the way uh, I wanted it. That was my plan. Oh, this is some washi tape I got from uh, Honey in Happy Mail, I believe, quite a while ago. And I really like the this one with the black uh, dots, the black circles on it. So I thought that could look, look nice on my cover as well. And again, an archival ink and some stamps. I bought a lot of stamps in China lately um, through um, AliExpress. They are very, very cheap and they have great stamps, so I'm um, still waiting for a couple. But here I also use some script. This is one by Finna Bear and the other one is uh, one by Indigo Blue. Still waiting for a couple of stamps though. They are very, very nice. And what I'm doing here is just to make it a bit more interesting and, of course, some splatters. Nothing goes without splatters. And that was with an um, acrylic paint that I made uh, a spray with. This is a stencil that I bought recently at a Dutch online web store called Hobby Shop Sandra, I believe. And it's a very thick material, so it's a very nice stencil. And I really love the, the design of this one with all the lines, vertical and ho horizontal. And I'm using the Amsterdam modeling paste. And this is a modeling paste I'm not that keen on because I think I find it very thin, really. Here I'm showing you my crackle glaze that is a deco art media crackle glaze and um, I wanted to use it on some wooden elements I was a bit struggling about what to put on on top of the cover and for certain I wanted to use that arrow but um, I wanted something with mission inspiration on it but I the letters that I have, the wooden letters, were too big for that cover, so I decided on maybe I could do numbers. So the 13 was uh, the letter M, because it's the 13th letter in the alphabet, and the 9 was the I for inspiration. In the end, I didn't use the numbers, I did go for the arrow, and um, I wanted to use the, the crackle clay, so I wanted it to have a back, uh, white background and then go over with black paint and then use the glaze, the crackle, so uh, hopefully some white will come through once uh, the, the crackles appear. And it did in the end, but very, very fine. It was not all that visible. So with painting my numbers and the arrow, I got a very nice print of uh, the negative, which I'm going to keep and scan for one of my digital products. So here I'm trying to show you the uh, 
the crackle on the arrow, which uh, for some reason um, I didn't capture doing that on video, so sorry for that. But I did uh, glazed uh, the arrow and it has a very fine, very fine crackling. And now I'm thinking um, to do some clustering and I was searching for some nice papers, maybe a piece of fabric. Here I have a doily and um, some vintage paper. I believe I also use some fabric and this music paper. The music paper I got also in Happy Mail, I believe. I'm not sure anymore. And this I got also in Happy Meals. It's a, a die cut uh, of, of, an, of a sort of a net, really. And I wanted to use that as well. So here I'm tossing and turning, trying to find the right way to um, put it all down. And then I thought of my sewing machine. And I thought about my sewing machine earlier, but with moving house, I put it away very high up in a closet and I didn't feel like grabbing it, but in the end I did and now it's close by for whenever I want to do some stitching. I have it out there in no time, so that's what I did here. I stitched a bit with the black thread uh, to keep the cluster all together and now I'm gluing it down with a very cheap glue also from Action. And for the arrow I'm using the multi medium mat from Ranger because I think for some heavier uh, stuff that's a better glue to use. And I'm putting it on, putting it on with a uh, palette knife. And then I think the front cover is about almost ready. Still thinking about the numbers and the letters and what to do with them. Um, if you see me picking them up again, I had these were the smallest letters that I had, so I thought of the M and the, and the Y. I, I I found mission inspiration complete with all the letters. I found it way too much on the page, so I didn't want to do that. But I decided to not use them in the end and just using this fine needle tip bottle to write down mission inspiration. And it's uh, a bit messy. Uh, you can hardly read it, but it is there and I know it's there and I was quite happy with that. So these are stamps also from Action, uh, from the Craft Sensations series. And they were fun little arrow stamps. And I thought they could look nice on the cover as well. So I used a couple of those. So with all that talking, my throat is hurting don't want to cough. And I think I'm about ready with this. And um, here you see me tossing aside all the wooden elements. A bit splattering, of course. This is a white dilution spray paint and my own acrylic spray paint that I made myself. And um, then what's left is the inside. And I had this very old wallpaper. I, I have quite a lot of it, really. And I really love it. It's very, of a kind of damasked design on it. It's embossed as well. And uh, it, it smells old, really. I keep it in a box. And when I uh, open the lid, it the smell hits my face. It's really, really very old. And I love this wallpaper. And I thought, let's do it simple, like the cover, and just put that on the inside. And that is that. 
maybe in a later stage I will add maybe some a pocket or or whatever an element or something but for now I just left it with this and of course um, using the archival ink the coffee again to go around the edges and make it a bit more vintage now what I did for the back cover is almost the same but uh, I left the arrow and the cluster off and also I switched it uh, so the the paper strips are on the top side of the cover of the back cover instead of the bottom and the white is um, on the bottom and so it's just just the other way around but practically all the same I use the arrow stamps I use splatter I use the washi tapes I use the strips and and everything else that I used on um, the front cover. So here I'm putting in the holes and the eyelets. Uh, I noticed just the other day, because I filmed this, this a couple of days ago, that one of the eyelets uh, came loose. So because it's quite thick, the cardboard, it just hardly grabs. Um, I uh, may be going to change that with some um, eyelet uh, stickers, you know, those circle stickers with a hole in it. And so here it's all complete, the front and back cover. I also created and cut uh, some paper in the, the size, the right size, and I took some white uh, watercolor paper and some card uh, cardstock paper. And, uh, well, this is going to be my book for the Mission Inspiration Challenges, I think. So I hope you liked watching this video, guys. And, um, uh, well, see you soon, very soon, with the Mission Inspiration Challenges, of course. And, uh, well, with other stuff as well. So have a great day and see you soon.